Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your man, Mike Alexander. And today I'm making a video for you guys on the process on how I make beats. So with that being said, let's get this video started. Mike Alexander. All right, so a lot of y'all have been asking me this question, like my process when it comes to making beats. So I decided to just go ahead and just make a video for real for you guys. So before I give you like a straightforward answer, let me give you some background information about the types of music that I listened to growing up. So that way you guys can kind of know my influences and where they came from. So in the household back in the day when I was a young bucket, you know, I grew up listening to a whole lot of R&B. So my mom listened to her favorite Michael Jackson. Uh, she listened to Prince. Uh, she had us listen to Earth, Wind & Fire. Uh, we listened to uh, Luther Vandross, uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays, Eric Benet. Like the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Like it's a lot of people. So I have a lot of, you know, R&B influences from my childhood. As I got older and went to high school, I got more into the jazz type of music. So I've been listening to like, you know, Clifford Brown and Roy Hargrove, Wynton Marcellus, John Coltrane, like, you know, people like that. And, you know, a lot of you guys that know me, you know me, you know that I have a really strong uh, passion and a really strong um, musical background with jazz. So jazz has been like a real heavy influence on me for a very, very long time. And it still is to this day. As I went to college, I started listening to Neil Soul music. So I got in, into that type of groove. So with that being said, like all those different styles of music that you heard, I try to take pieces of each each one of those styles and incorporate into my own type of thing. So that right there can give you guys some sort of insight as to how I go about creating my music. So you're gonna have an R&B feel with like some jazz stuff mixed with like that Neo Soul type chords, you know what I mean? Cause it's just a certain way that they do it and I love it so much, you know? So I try to incorporate all those different things into my music. Now, when it comes to me actually constructing the music, there's a, there's a couple of factors that, that play in there. So I tend to think about um, things that I experience. So I try to tap into my emotions to bring out the best of my music. So if I'm feeling happy one day, I'm gonna make some music that's like very uplifting. You know, if I'm feeling like, you know, sad or something happened to me or whatever, then I'm gonna make a song where you guys can actually feel touch or you'll actually feel that emotion behind it, you know. And then another thing that I like to do is I incorporate certain type of chords as well. So for me, if I'm making a piece, like let's just say like I, I'm not I'm not happy about something and I add like a, a major chord, like those major chords that I add within the song, that right there resembles peace. It resembles me, you know, gathering myself, picking myself up, moving forward and just being strong. So there's like certain things that I do in the music to try to, bring out those you know the certain elements of how i'm feeling um if i have to create a track for somebody i'll ask you know my artists the questions and if they tell me something then what I'll, I'll probably do is like depending on what they tell me i will tap into my own personal experiences to try to bring out that type of music so if i'm happy one day and she's talking about being sad like i'm gonna think about some sad stuff you know what i mean so that's gonna like bring out a lot of that um the influences uh, in when I'm creating these tracks. So that's something that I like to do as well. Another thing is you gotta have this mindset and this goes for everything too. Like you cannot care what people think. So when I'm putting my music together, I really don't care what people think. I like to create music that feels good to me, music that makes me happy, music that I can be like, you know what, like this is what's up. You know what I mean? I created this piece. So if I'm feeling good about something, then I know a lot of other people out there is probably going to feel the same way. You know, music is universal like that. And it has like that strong energy where people can actually tell like how a person is feeling based off the emotion of the song, the essence of the song, you know. So that's pretty much like where I get all of my, uh, my musical influence from. I know lately I've been listening to a lot of chill hop type music and I like to incorporate a lot of that stuff in what I'm doing now, you know, I think it's cool, you know. So that's just like a little insight as to like how I go about creating beats. Um, one thing I also forgot to mention too, um, I'm the type of cat, like I actually like to use live instruments and you know, I don't have a lot of people that, that are willing to work with me right now. So I kind of do my own thing. So I had to go out and teach myself, you know, how to play piano. I had to teach myself how to play um, 
you know, tenor saxophone. I had to go out and teach myself like how to play um, alto sax, tenor sax, whatever, you know, all the, the horns or whatever. I had to teach myself how to play bass and, you know, even show my guitar a little bit too because I want to incorporate some of that into my music, you know? And so that's pretty much um, how I go about making beats in a sense. Like it's really just based off how I'm feeling, the emotion, and I kind of just utilize that and then just, just put it out there, you know? Or I just try to create things, you know, that, that feel good to me, you know? And, you know, there's some things that I've also learned as well when it comes to making beats and, you know, creating music. With music, there's no rules. So you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to be like constricted. There's a lot of people who go by the book and they got to do everything by the book verbatim. You don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because like if you if you do that, yeah, it might sound technically correct, but like it's not really creative. You're not really expressing yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like with that being said, just kind of go ahead and um and just create. Just put certain things together. Even the chords don't make sense or whatever. Just put it together. You know what I'm saying? Like you just never know. Like it might work out for you in, um, in your favor. So, but yeah, that's pretty much like my process as to how I go about making music, um, my beats and everything. And uh, yeah, so also if you guys are interested in, in music lessons, I'm teaching uh, beginner saxophone. I'm teaching trumpet. I'm teaching uh, piano lessons, some music theory lessons. I'm also teaching some, uh, some music production lessons as well. So if you guys are interested in that, hit me up. If you guys need some horns for your tracks or whatever, or if you need like some kind of production for certain things, hit me up. I can definitely do that. Now, I'll be way more likely to record horns for you guys as opposed to like creating like full blown tracks. Cause right now, like my laptop is still kind of messed up. Sometimes it'll shut off and I have to start over again. So it's easier for me just to like lay horns down. It won't really do that for some reason. Why? I don't know. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I just thought I'd just throw that out there. But yeah. So pretty much that's it. Uh, I hope that answered you guys' questions and I uh, hope you have a good day. Peace.